Good afternoon to you, good morning to you, good evening to you from wherever you are watching from. This is Mayegun live. I welcome you to the Temple of Truth tonight. It is going to be an interesting night. Okay? Share the broadcast. Invite your friends. Invite your not so friendly friends and tell them, eh? Mayegun today. Yeah. If you have taken your time to read the caption of the broadcasts, the description of the broadcasts, then you can at least settle down after sharing the broadcast, after sharing it, yeah? Settle down and then settle in into tonight's uh, episode. The caption, which is the rider for this uh, chart tonight, is just about what happened yesterday when uh, the Igbos in Lagos came out in their large numbers to give their backing and support to Ashiwaju Bola Tinumbu. This has kind of, uh, you know, spring up uh, different opinions, some exposés. How did that happen? I mean, why and what is wrong uh, with that? A lot of discussion on that I'm going to share that with you tonight. Then when we leave Lagos, we're going to leave Lagos temporarily as well at some point. Then we'll stop by in Enugu. I mean, yeah, Enugu. Or we we'll stop by uh, an Imo. Emo, where the women in their large numbers as well also came out. That is Biafra land, by the way. So we are going to get there. Then if uh, we stop by uh, in Enugu first, that would be the, the Robodignon. I don't know how to call that. Uh, the Hula Baloo that has followed uh, what uh, people said. It should have been freedom of speech talking about uh, the suspension and transfer of Fada Mbaka. He did say something that uh, they accused him of saying, which he said he didn't say, but eventually, you know, there were protests, we couldn't stop by there. Then we're going to fly over, take a little stop at Kogi. Something is happening in Kogi, you should know, like everyone else, right? Then we're going to stop by in Bauchi. We're at Tifku was there today, like a royale, eh? And then uh, you see thousands of people converged, right? As usual, it is the season, right? Then uh, I'm going to stop here and there and there and there uh, to make your night worthwhile. So do me a favor before you finally kind of settled in. Share this broadcast. It's important. <laughs> There is a good time to be alive. One of them is now. Few days or weeks ago, or back, hmm, the most popular campaign line for the Lagos Abobaku, especially on these streets, social media, their popular line where Igbos should go back to their regions. Igbos are IPOB. OB supporters who are, I mean, who, I mean the people supporting OB are IPOB. So everyone who come from the eastern part of Nigeria, even if they are members of an APC, a Bekebe, they are considered as a 
you know, Biafrans, Igbos, which kind of uh, partially right. But that is not just the saying. The saying comes with uh, another God knows how we're going to end that, a bigotry of uh, special suspicion for everyone with uh, Igbo lineage, every Igbo man or woman, according to the Lagos Abobakus, Oshogbo Alimajiris, they are suspicious. But that is not the case. Yesterday, I was surprised. Yeah? When the social media bandits, Facebook adsmen, the Lagos Super Baku in their numbers, they were celebrating the endorsement of Ashiwaju by the Igbos. I was like, oh, well, that seems to be looking good. Now, won't it, I mean, I mean, would it not look so kind of a mental or a sort of a mental health problem if suddenly, tomorrow, every other Igbo you see, Eh, is now an enemy. Now, that message is not just with their followers. So let's go back uh, to the beginning before we go to what happened in Lagos. And congratulations to you, uh, the civil servant in Lagos. Sonwo Iku is very, very grateful. And then uh, he has uh, increased your, your salary. I hope they pay you, right? Or just before then, some little flashback. So what people have said, let me tell you something, right? People believe that there's so much intimidation, harassment on uh, Igbos, especially in Lagos. And let me tell you something, right? The Igbos and the Yorubas and the, every other person, you know, living legitimately in Yoruba land, in every part of Yoruba land, they never have any issue with Yorubas. We never have any issues with them. In Lagos, eh? No be only Igbo still Lagos. So. There are other ethnic nationalities that are also residents of Lagos. But whenever election is coming, right? The only ethnic nationality that posts threat to the violent uh, political empire of Tifnumbu are mostly the Igbos. You know, the Igbos pride themselves as uh, being Republican in nature. You get what I mean? They don't do this uh, rancor, they, they stuff, you know what I mean? And they are kind of, they feel like uh, they are so blunt too. So because of that, the, the likes of uh, Tifnumbu and gang, eh, considering the number of Igbos who are resident in Lagos, they know the numbers. And they are not just numbers. They are not just numbers that fill in the gap. These are like a, a block, economic block in Lagos. So, politically, it is uh, the dream of uh, the Tifnumbu and gang, okay, to clamp and cripple any simple threat coming from anyone, including the Igbos, according to them. So to them, if you are not in their, in their camp, you are an enemy. Even when there are many of them, even in their government there. But you know why? The Igbos owed not just the numbers. Yeah? They also owed serious economic influence in Lagos. And if you have economy power and you don't have political power in this uh, world, Right in the game of uh, what is it called? In the loss of power, mm? if you have uh, economic power and you don't have political power, you probably just like uh, have no power at all. You will remain subservient to those who have the political power, even if you have more resources than them. That's exactly the situation of the Igbos. They have serious economic, uh, you know, block in Lagos. When you talk about the business investment, when you talk about the property investment, when you talk about the numbers of uh, industries that they actually like fund themselves in Lagos and outside Lagos, this makes them great stakeholder in there. 
Therefore, if you really want them on your side, according to the operational book of uh, Tifnumbu and Gang, eh, you need to whip them to line and threaten that thing, that economic power. You know what that means? It's been working for years. And uh, there is always every time to remind the Igbos in Lagos that there is somebody who holds the political power. Unfortunately, as they say, the Igbos are most, I mean, they are the real people who believe in the concept of uh, Nigeria. You will find them in their numbers. I'm talking about large numbers as Nigerians so in every part of Nigeria. That is why they remain easy targets for those who don't believe in Nigeria. Just what Nigeria has to give to them, even if they have to sacrifice millions for it. You know what I mean? So back to it. There is always a time to remind them. A colon will be sadly just to maintain the enslavement. Uh, if any one of you, I swear in the name of God Almighty Allah, goes against my will that I'm body, inshallah will be the next governor of Lagos State. The best is going to die inside this world. I'm not ready to beg a thing to anybody. And that's why the Kaisal and the governor says, I said, that is your own. Even the two of them, they cannot disobey me. But nobody knew how I picked I'm body. The mean is my blood relation. And I told him in the pay language, he can never be governor in Lagos for now. Peter belongs to God. I'm not begging anybody to go, but you must not. I repeat, what you people cannot do in Ojita, what you cannot do in Abba or anywhere, if you do what I want, Lagos will continue to be prosperous for you. Amen. If you go against this, you will bend this in the water. Finish. So, do you understand that? That is the mindset. So, if you see an average, Yoruba man or Yoruba boy, even if it's not from Lagos, there is this, there is this general sentiment among those who are like the begotted ones that listen to people. They always want to remind them. Mind you, that was just contest between two Yorubas in Lagos. Jimmy Agbaje, Ambody in Lagos. They are both Yorubas, right? So, as those who are residents in Lagos, they are expected to, they are paying their taxes there, doing their businesses there and all of that, right? Now, they are expected to participate in the political process of those who are going to be in charge of their affairs. Normally, Abi, no. They have to single them out for choosing to go for another Yoruba man in Yoruba land. So, they play that card often, right? And it's more, I'm talking about those who should know better if they indeed believe in that you're one Nigeria, so to say, right? Now, here is another one. Just a reminder. This one is in Yoruba. Ah. <laughs> so for those who probably understood uh, i mean understand yoruba so it's just like the mindset do you get that i mean these are things they say in public you don't know what they say in private and you don't know what they plan in private too because these are prominent ones who knows better 
who knows that uh, if you remove the politics, eh, there will be no need for all that bad blood, hatred, vile, and all those things that uh, they have spitted or spewed, they are spewing in the mouth of uh, every one of these bigots that you see around there. So when suddenly they started celebrating and all that, I was like, oh, what a time to be alive. Election is coming again. Wow. So the Igbos didn't want to wait to be threatened. Right? No, no, no. We wouldn't wait for them to threaten us. Let's just go and give them what they want. Abi? For example, if this guy end up being uh, in your community and says, this today, and that's exactly what you're going to witness, by the way. Remember this. Materials. So they come with four for for you. One, two, three. One more for you. That's the number one share money. And so, but you can't do it. Call it back. Change it, yes. and that we are going to follow to the later. Yes. This place is not meant for Abode people. Yes. No, no, you come here to vote for Abode. Yes. Everybody, the man who are not TV, right? I'm a vote to stand you. Stand you, so we'll look. That's their politics. Sometimes this is the this kind of people are the people you are arguing with on social media. Do you know that? People with that kind of mindset. They are the people you are replying on social media, thinking you are having a you want to have a reasonable conversation. How do you have reasonable conversation with people who said, our leader so our you know what I mean? It is what it is. Because if you fail to, if you take if you don't take them serious, if you think it's just blabbing. As people of Ikotun, February 2019, they are witnessed this. the government speaking so they are everywhere 
So if they tell you that uh, in this Lagos, ah, the Ashiwaju is the word on post. Oh, boy. I hope you are prepared. But maybe now that uh, the, you know, the Igbos, especially in Lagos, who knows that some of them in that Lagos, they have no idea that uh, there are other people from other places who are not Yorubas. O okay. That if Nobu also have to, you know what I mean, eh? Maybe they believe that uh, Lagos will make Tifnumbu the next uh, president or something. But if you are an Igbo man or woman, I think uh, somehow, somehow, instead of condemning these people, eh, calling them names and all that, these are businessmen and women. These are people who run their businesses running into millions and millions, tens and hundreds of millions, right? Every day. To keep the economy that the Agbiros are tagging and they are collecting taxes from, they are collecting older, older Agbiros in Lagos. The people that run that economy, they are the people who have been uh, harassed, intimidated, and then uh, made to make a move that could at least eh, soften the ground for them. Because even at that, eh, if Tifnumbu should lose the 2023 election or, or so, they will still come back and blame the Yugos. Write that down today. So they decided to go there and say, well, come. We will no we know get problem with you. Sure you get. A business, we will do. And as it be so, eh? Baba, for you to know, now your mandate. On your mandate, Bola. On your mandate, with your I don't know what they are singing, but all I heard was that Gana Giga Uzoro Gana Giga Bola Gana Giga Chiwaju Gana Giga Uso. I don't know if I'm singing rubbish anyway, but again, there is another there is another part. Look at it from this side. Maybe this one is clearer anyway. <laughs> There you get. I mean, just for the optics, okay? I mean, if that will satisfy and put the mind of a uh, Jagger Bandit at peace and his agents, they can they can tone it down. Don't come and burn our businesses, eh? Don't lock our shops, okay? We don't actually really care. We don't really care. But well, come on, don't make us uh, the sacrificial lamb of uh, your national political charade. So they had to play along. And as expected, eh, as you would expect, mm, it is the moment for the man in charge of uh, Lagos gutters, the drainage master of Lagos, the man saddled with the responsibility of helping to keep Lagos clean. Mr. Joe Igbokwe. It was a day to celebrate. Look at him. Hello. I'm 
Wasn't it right? It was their day. But how could you do all of that? Eh? I will not add the real sort of the occasion, the women. I mean, it would have, it would have been, it'd be nothing. They need to make the emperor happy. Do you know the meaning of this song, by the way? all of that to make them like i mean see you know to satisfy them i hope somehow this can now lego see you watching me lego sabobaku eh do would you now agree that uh, every time you turn around and call egos names and other things that they have told you to call them right so would you agree that uh, these people endorsing Tifnumbu are also IPOB? They are Biafrans. Don't forget that, okay? And they are doing their best, right? Until they have their, I mean, until they have their day that they will leave Nigeria. Sure you get. And in this Nigeria, that they won't let them go, but you won't let them lead do you get that now i hope all of that kind of can put your mind at rest a bit hmm? abi no maybe not you know something there are women also who came together uh in uh emo states who were today right they came together to show that uh -uh, bia france are supporting tifnumbu <laughs> Eh? so that uh, you won't continue right to live in your bigotry okay 
I don't know if it's going to help you or not, but I mean, take this. I mean, meanwhile, why, uh, there is one thing uh, which is the audience that I actually want to show to you in Lagos before I go to Owiri. Let's stop by a quick one. Back to Lagos. Hey, aside, They are not just Igbos in Lagos. So they didn't just make them, uh, you know, uh, support and follow Tiffany. They made them pick up uh, APC uh, membership card in Lagos. All of this for validation. You could hear the guy, he was saying, we just want recognition. We want uh, to be given employment. We want to be given uh, this. We want to be given that, like uh, normal people who live here, do businesses here. We you know we do things here. Yeah, our children, you know that stuff. They are looking for recognition in the hands uh, of a man eh, who couldn't even give recognition eh, to the people who are non Igbos. I mean, non Yorubas. I mean, sorry, who are Yorubas uh, in particular. But imagine if those numbers of those shop owners you saw in that video, these are just like a fraction, by the way, okay? If they decided that they should extract all of their own resources out of uh, Lagos or more, eh? Well, that's not the point tonight. Let's go to Oweri, where the women were also gathered this time around, also for Tifnumbu. They are also Igbo, so they are Biafran. So are you watching me, Kabiru? Kabiru Oshubu, you watching, Abi? Yeah? Please watch. Going down. We will stay today. Thank you, Super. We're marching for our coming incoming president. Well, I'm All right, I also want to recognize the arrival of the Progressive Young Women Forum from various states. So, various states um, have been recognized and identified and represented by this group, the arrival of the Progressive Young Women Forum from various states. And of course they are led by the President, Honorable.
Yeah. But there is actually a closer shot. The one that you can hear them speak to confess and profess their support uh, uh, for Ashiwaju. Uh, I just don't know if they believe them. Hello, uh, right here, Hello, we are at uh, Hero Square, talking about uh, Hello, uh, in the Bisekano Square, where women are gathered here today to kind of give an uh, endorsement rally in support of uh, the all progressive candidates as uh, Ashwa Jubala Metunumbu and Vice.
In that many few minutes, our first lady will speak. But let me introduce to you the queen. If you find past that one, it's not compatible with life. I call her manure one. Unbeatable, untouchable. Stainless, yo. Ego big, ma. That's uh, Tifnubu's endorsement by the women, Biafra women. Who, Abi, Biafra women, because every Igbo man, mm, even the ones who still be, uh, believe in Nigeria, supporting Nigeria, being part of all this whole thing, you know, but to this set of people, every Igbo man and woman is a Biafran. Every Easterner is a Biafran, and therefore, they want to leave Nigeria. Ah, no. That's politics, isn't it? Let's go back to Ibadan before we go to Bauchi. Because since the obedient have started, uh, you know, there are rallies here, rallies there, and all of that, well, they seem to have encouraged uh, other people to do same to show that um, if you think say una get the number well check us out let's go to ibadan quickly where they also staged a walk for tifnumbu let me see if i have the right uh, clip uh, there okay i think i do the first one <laughs> Some of you are saying that, uh, oh, these people cannot be helped. And there's nothing you can do to actually save the... Uh, Baba, the world we are right now is to make sure that uh, you save yourself so that you will, be, you will be capable enough to save somebody else. There are so many people, right, that you, that you think they cannot be saved. It's because the number of people who feel saved eh, are so minute. And somehow, somehow, it seems not to be increasing as well, because the badon, as they as as they did, uh, you know, uh, you know, today, so to say. Uh, look at this. Oh, 
That's what Yoruba called Oroburuku Peleri. Sorry if you probably don't understand Yoruba. That little short song you heard there is that uh, whoever votes for PDP, right, will be unfortunate. Whoever votes for Obi will be unfortunate. Anybody that votes for any other party except uh, APC will be unfortunate. That's the song. Ofo Nioshe. Anybody bo PDP. Ofo Nioshe. Anybody bo Libo. Ofo. That's what they are singing. And these are the people living in this seven years like Nigeria of APC. Egbe, egbe. Their children are at home. Many, many of them cannot afford, right, to lead a normal life, to lead a normal average life of being able to, to you know, to, 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 to fend for themselves and even care for those who depend on them. But whoever should try any other person, Ofo Nioshe, Ofo Nioshe, do you get that now? Whoever votes for any other party except APC will be unfortunate. That's what they are singing. So sometimes if you say they cannot be helped, you might be right, but nobody is beyond uh, redemption. Nobody is beyond uh, help. In fact, what we are doing right now is helping people in a way. Eight months of uh, ASU strike. Your politicians are not really interested in them. They are interested in renewing your slave, uh, your slave uh, suspicion, your slavery suspicion, so to say. That's what they are asking you to renew. And they are happy too, you know. There are slaves. There are happy slaves. Normally, you don't expect slaves to be happy due to the kind of condition they are subjected to. But listen to me. There are slaves. There are happy slaves. And in most cases, the slaves of this 21st century, they are no longer in chains here. Is where they are keeping the old control. So don't blame them. Because somehow, somehow, there, is, uh, there are also good uh, things that comes uh, from uh, the, the uh, oppressors too. I mean, for example, some we could always, and we're eternally grateful to them, after the women showed up in Lagos yesterday, he had this to say to them, we are just testing Mike. They don't know anything. We know you are for us. We know you will do what we say you should do. And for the one you have done, thank you. We just tested the mic. They don't know us. We will show them that women, women are the real voters. Shebi, you show them. Yes, yes, yes. These are women whose children are at home, by the way. I mean, for those who still have, uh, who are still, I mean, who still have children in school. And as for the civil servants uh, in, in Lagos, Lagos, they tend to hang on. They tend to have uh, what do you call it? Uh, a new deal from Songwo Songwo. I'm going to put up uh, that video, by the way. Then after that, uh, we are going to go to um, we're going to go to Bauchi, where if you want to see crowd, eh, I think Atifku is opening the door to show you that uh, once Tif Numbu is back as well, you can imagine the people you think eh, have been so traumatized and they are ready. Ah, man, I can see people energized and all that. Baba, no go put your betting on that. Too. If we are talking about Nigeria. The system is about to respond. And that's why I keep encouraging you, the obedient. Eh? You say you love pressing there, eh, Kabi. Hmm. Uh, you go see Nick Presso because there's a huge number of them right uh, you know, they're going to be right before you 
and I hope you are much uh, prepared for that. For the, you know, for the workers in Lagos, lucky you. Congratulations. <laughs> That's a wrong clip, okay? So I'm gonna I'm gonna double check that, but I think we should just go to Bauchi and see what happened today for those who are still here uh, with us. Atifku, you can say he launched uh, his uh, you know his own uh, campaign in Bauchi today. This is no longer a visit; it is actually like a proper uh, what do you call it? Uh, take a look when he landed, by the way. <laughs> So, yeah, so let me give you the close shots so that you see the people who died, you know, that are coming down from the private jet. <laughs> I'll come back to Bauchi. 
But I wanted to show you the uh, the clip of uh, Sonwe Ku appreciating uh, not just the women, but including the Lagos uh, workers, uh, you know, uh, yesterday. And he increased their salary. He said, I'm increasing your salary. We don't need to wait for Nigeria. We, don't, we know the country is hard. We know things are hard and tough and all that. And then me and my team, we have decided to do And the last part is actually the one that got me. I love you. I love you. I, I was like, hey, Gide, are you all right? Love you. Where is that coming from anyway? Yeah. Listen to this. No, you don't. No, you don't. I love you all. I love you all. I love you. No, you don't. You don't love them. Forget that. I mean, maybe because I live around, I mean, I live here, right? Salary increment doesn't uh, require them to bring all of you out of your offices and assemble you like uh, school children. And they say, I know your problem. I know what you are going through. So I have decided to increase your salary. So because I love you. No, you don't love them. They are working. They are meant to be paid. They don't need your, I love you a lot, like, like their dad. No, I'm your dad. Eh? I am your daddy. So, you know, I love you all. You are my children and all of that stuff. Same way they are treating uh, Kolu uh, in London. Because some of you would have been asking, I mean, like, I don't know if you have seen this anyway, okay? I want to hear, uh, you know, uh, the, the promise of uh, Sonwe Kui again. Just one more time. You are not know what you are not part of this world. I've looked around and I know that as a country there is pressure. I know that as a country there is high level of inflation. I know that as a country Thank you. 
you know nigeria way it has to do that because it's election time if everybody just received an email that says oh you i i you are getting a a 2.5 percent increase in your salary it's just an email okay your next your next salary you are getting a five percent increase five percent raise approved by the governor or the government sure you get they don't need to bring you all out i mean earlier today let me tell you one thing earlier today i received i received all these letters from the scottish gas so they are the provider they you know they provide me my electricity and they provide me my gas so in the last uh, few months, uh, you probably have been reading that too in Nigeria, if you are not in the UK. If you are in the UK, you know what I'm talking about already, okay? So we have been uh, kind of uh, dealing with the expected, the uh, rising cost of living. So cost of living, right, is what you pay as your bills, utility. Utility is everything you use, okay? What you pay for that. Then what you pay for your groceries, because when you go out there and something you, you were buying for one pound is now being sold for one pound 50. That is 50% increase, right? So that's your kind of uh, outgoing spirit that way. Now, in this country, yeah, the, apart from the government announcing that, hey, the cost of uh, living is going to really go up oh, and we are concerned oh. so many people who are working yeah after paying their rent after paying their gas electricity and all of that they will probably have nothing much left to feed themselves the same way they would normally do you know why i received my own letter today in that letter they said that uh, my annual uh, electricity was put at uh, 1000 1400 or dear about 460 that's how much i pay in total for electricity so what i pay in total for my gas because if you come to my house anyway it's always warm because like here you get so i use a lot of the uh, gas so what i pay for my gas is put at uh, around 1500 pounds so for both that means i've been paying something around there, 3,000 pounds in a year. So they sent me a letter. They said, well, that is going to go up, right? So monthly, my monthly gas and electricity, electricity bill is ridiculous, by the way, very ridiculous. It's about uh, 350 pounds. So when they said, ah, cost of living is going to go up, the first, before then, though, the first set of people who responded was the government when they increased the minimum wage. After increasing minimum wage from the place of work where, I, you know, where I'm working, they also put in some other support factors because they know what you are getting, okay? So if they say you're outgoing, so let's say all my bill, including feeding and taking care of my family and all that, kind of come to somewhere around the three grand to 3,500 pounds there in a mo every month. Now, if they say your bill is going to go up, right? That means my bill is going to go over somewhere around the four grand, five grand in a month. But what about my income, right? I'm grateful that uh, I've got uh, multiple sources of uh, income that could take care of all my bills in any way. But when I got the letter today, so I screenshotted it and I posted it on, uh, on my Facebook page uh, profile. Then from nowhere, the regular, typical, ignorant Nigerian, right? He jumped into it. He said, ah, so you are paying 400 pounds every month for electricity and gas. And you are here, you are always on, 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 your, on your broadcast wailing about Nigeria. Do you know how much 400 pounds is in Nigeria for somebody to use that to pay for electricity? 
And I was like, Kila, 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 I'm sucking you with so with a willy. Eh? I am not complaining about my bill. In this country, for those that uh, this increase and all of this will be uh, will affect, eh? There are already people receiving text messages, emails, some of them receiving the confirmation from their providers that government don't send us 400 pounds out of your bill. So now be say, instead of you paying more next time from May, October, you'll be paying uh, a little bit less now. There are people, already, even people who have uh, money, they are receiving that message to say for your household their cost, for your this or that, eh? for this and that, oh, yeah, take oh. In Nigeria, they said they are sharing for 5,000 to you poor people. They said they are giving you unemployed people uh, 25,000 to start business. And one weary from nowhere jumped and said, I'm, I was like, what's the correlation? 400 pounds in Nigeria is how much? 320,000 naira? Yeah? But it is still 400 pounds here. It is not 400,000 pounds. Do you get that? Right? So, even in that, your Nigeria, when people, are comp when people are complaining about the cost of electricity, cost of gas, eh? Who brought the mouth of uh, these uh, ignorant uh, buffoons, deliberately ignorant?